the imperfect cadence. Chord 1 or 2 or 4 or 6 going to chord 5. A good way to think about this is, bearing in mind you can't use chord 3 or chord 7 at leaving cert, it's any of the other ones, 1 or 2 or 4 or 6 going to chord 5. Any of those will form your imperfect cadence. So let's look at some examples here. In the first one we've got chord 1 to chord 5. The notes of chord 1, C, E, G and C, C, E, G, C or chord 1 going to G, the root of chord 5. So forming an imperfect cadence. In our second example we've got the notes of chord 2 or D minor. We've got D, A, F and A. So again, fits chord D, F, A, or chord of D minor, or chord 2, going to the root of chord 5, so again an imperfect cadence. In our third example, we've got the notes of chord 4, or F, F, C, F, A, so fitting the notes of chord 4, going to the root of chord 5, again an imperfect cadence. And finally, the notes of chord 6, or A minor, we've got E, C, E, and A, so fitting the notes of chord 6, A, C, and E. So A minor in this box, going to the root of chord 1, G in this box, and that's our last imperfect cadence.